PG First is the only political party that has a plan and that has a track record. None of the other political parties have a plan and has a track record. And we don't change our policies every second day of the week. We start off with one in 2007, was carried forward by the military government and we and the Fiji first carried on that those policies after the election in 2014. So I want to tell everyone including all the other political parties that we have a game plan. We have a we don't only have a game plan, of course you all know that we have a track record. All this infrastructure you see in front of you around Suva area, that's our track record. All the infrastructure you see in Vanulevu right now, that's our track record. I was uh, laughing to myself when I saw Rambuka and Biman's uh, uh, photo in uh, Lambasa sometime last week, lifting their hands up, both from Vunulevu. None of them has ever done any development in Vunulevu. None of them. The development in Vunulevu, if you go to Vunulevu now, you see all those nice roads, also those tassil roads, all the new bridges, all the infrastructure, including all the new government buildings that was put in place by Fiji First. None of that was ever put in place by Rambuka or Biman. I've heard that uh, Rambuka has mentioned about bringing change. The Great Council of Chiefs is not change. Sasingi dimina kaiti na ngono ngono na mposhi lebo oturang. O sinkila na daba rasa kita katungu meki na. Rabi na kate mera kuto tali na nanda wakasa manite uke. Ena bi talno ni bagan duin duite ngata kota mata. That's what they try to do. Racial discrimination. They want to bring back the Great Council of Chiefs. We are not 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 bossy level to run. We are not even one man to take it to. We are not even talking about it. He's been heard to say that uh, he wants them back, so he can uh, this great Great Council of Chiefs can advise the government. The government has ministers in place, permanent secretaries all the directors, all the senior executives, they really don't need another advisory board.